Horizon, Shine Wild Pack, it's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Pick a Card weekly tarot reading for July 26, 2021. You all didn't think I'd let you go a whole week without a reading, did you? You didn't really, really think that. So um, if you're new here, you're probably wondering what I'm going on about. Um, and welcome if you're new. If you are a longtime subscriber, you know I love you. I so much appreciate you. And you also know I'm on vacation. So this video is being pre-recorded before I leave for the magical land of Oz in Kansas. I've packed my ruby red slippers. I'm going to be meeting the wicked witch. <laughs> I'm gonna let my monkeys fly. And, uh, and I might do some Glenda the Good stuff. You never, ever know what I'm likely to do. So, um, if you like the free content that we produce here, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the little ringy dingy bell thing E so you get all the notifications and, um, and away we go. So how, um, how spirit told me to do this reading for y'all this week is to do a card for the beginning of the week, a card for the middle of the week and a tarot card for the, um, latter part of the week. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, so I didn't expect it to, <laughs> I didn't expect this tarot card reading to go like this. This is no joke, y'all. So earlier today, cause I'm filming this Wednesday, late, late, late. Um, I had to wait till all the thunder and lightning stopped here in Florida so I could film this. And so I'm filming this Wednesday, um, after the, like way later in the day after the live and this morning's live was all about synchronistic events, synchronicities. Um, and signs from the universe and what synchronicities are trying to show you and what they're trying to tell you. And when you think about synchronicities, I, I always think of things that are kind of like doubled. Um, and it can be more than that. I mean, listen, just this morning or just on this morning's live, I was showing you guys a little yellow, um, um, yellow or little blown glass lucky duck. And that led to a story about ducks, which led to a, a box from Amazon that had Space Jam on it, which if you did not see this morning's live, sounds like gobbledygook to you. So please, 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 if you are interested at all in synchronicities, I'm begging you to watch this morning's live. It will light you up. It, it will. And then the readings that ensued after that and all the synchronicities that happened with everybody during the readings, and there it is in print, like on the computer, you can read the transcript. It was Nutsola. So I'm just going to, I, I'm just going to jump right in there because, you know, I, I work, I really do work in the land of Oz every day. Um, I, I live in a magical world and I'm so grateful every second of every minute of every day, but sometimes the magic is even too kooky for me and I have to stop and go, wait a minute, wait, is that real? Yeah. So here we go. Monday, <laughs> it's the devil card, which is the shark. Now, when you talk about, um, where, and by the way, if you don't know me, um, I read from my own award-winning history-making Arc Animal Tarot, an Oracle deck, and uh, the deck is all animals. And then within the deck, there are 78 uh, traditional tarot cards like this, this is the devil. And it's based on the Rider Waite Smith tarot system, right? Okay. So, you know, it makes really good sense why the shark would wanna be El Diablo, but, but for those of you that read tarot or you're, you know, maybe you're a beginner learning tarot, when you start working with the major arcana, that's kind of the journey to true self. That's, it's, it's the hero's journey, uh, you know? And when you get to the devil card, that's just about as bad as things get. <laughs> you are really, you are down, down, down. Which again, makes really good sense why a shark would want to be the devil card. So, cause a snake is the tower and that's the, that's the only other animal that's that feared in the whole world. So when you start looking at a Monday and you're looking at the first part of the week, loosely Monday through Wednesday, okay, loosely. The devil card is all about um, black magic, misguided devotion, bondage, things that you, that you can feel like you're experiencing when you forget that you're a spiritual being having a human experience. And this week, and, and this is, this is because I know what the other three or the other two cards coming for you all for this week are the devil has taken on, uh, the devil tarot card has taken on just an unbelievable, uh, extra meaning for you all this week. And here's why. If you look at the traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot card of the devil, you might notice that the devil's arms are nearly in the same position as the magician. 
But the the magician's wand um, is turned into a torch on the magician held upside down, but it slipped into the right hand on the devil, okay? When you talk about being able to um, draw in light, draw in power, draw in energy, instead of drawing in the limitless eternal light of the divine source, the artificial light of the torch held by the devil in the devil tarot card, okay, it might be dazzling, but it's temporary. You only see what the torch allows you to see. Now, <laughs> This has been the week of, of people who were so convinced they were right. They were so convinced that they had a righteous truth behind them that I'm like, are, is somebody going to throw up a, a, a revival tent and these people are going to get up on the, on the, the wooden box and start preaching. And they were so patently wrong, so wrong crossed so many boundaries, did so many crazy, it's been a week of that. If you feel yourself going off the rails or you are working around someone or in a relationship with someone who you feel like is going off the rails, it's because they are. They, they are so wrapped up in their own illusions and you might be wrapped up in your illusions as well. Don't we all get wrapped up in our illusions? It's not casting aspersions on anybody. It's just saying that it happens. It really, really happens. And now is a, the time for you to take a look at that. So when you, when you say, well, okay, because if you look at the two people that are in the chains that are holding them to the altar, okay, they're relaxed. They're not struggling to get free. They're just hanging around. Hey, hey everybody, what's everybody is scared of? A scared, did I really say that? I did, a scared of. They can take those shackles off anytime they want and so can you. If you're looking around yourself and you're like, why isn't this working? Why does this never work for me? Why do I take two steps forward and three steps back? Why can't I ever have, why doesn't this ever happen to me? Um, you, you're why you don't have things happen to you that you want to happen to you. And you're exactly why the things that you don't want to happen to you happen to you. Now, I know I'm going to get emails. I know I'm going to get messages. You're supposed to be a healer and you're supposed to do that. <laughs> okay. That's your perception. Your perception of how I should do my job is your perception. It's not my perception. And you're not right. And I'm not right. And nobody's wrong and nobody's wrong. It's just our perception. However, some things are wrong. Sometimes perception is flat, out, skewed, sideways, way sideways, and has no bearing in reality whatsoever. And not in a magical, mystical, woo-woo kind of way, in a that's gonna go very badly for that person kind of way. Again, this depiction of the devil card and who it means or who it's standing for, or who it's representing, the archetype may not be you. It just may be somebody that you're having to quote unquote deal with, contend with, you're in a relationship with. Um, and if y'all are wondering, the humidity, I, I don't know if y'all can see the gills that I've got coming out here, but the humidity in Florida, even in my house, which is like an icebox, it's unbelievable. If you start to hear me go glub, 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 it's because the humidity is just killing me dead. So that's the first part of your week. Here's the good news. It's just temporary. It's just temporary. You, you, either you're gonna break the chains of bondage from yourself or you're gonna help break them from somebody else. But Capricorn is associated with the devil card. Nothing that a Capricorn would like and yet that's the story. Things are not as they appear, but you will get to the bottom of the story and then it will be okay. And what that means is you, you, you might be thinking you've learned all there is to learn. You, you know, all there is to know. And in fairness, you can't know what you don't know, but know that you don't know everything. 
I don't care what it's about. Nobody knows every single thing about anything. It is not humanly possible because inventions happen and this happens and that happens. I would, I would encourage you that if you're in a place right now that you think, huh, I know what time it is. You might know what time it is right now, but that little second hand is a clicking and you ain't following it. And it's going to, you know, the alarm's going to go off and you're going to be, Wah! because you didn't expect the alarm to go off. The alarm was set for noon and you were convinced it was one o'clock. It ain't, it just ain't. So that's a tough pill to swallow. If you're like me, you, you don't, uh, I'm not really ever worried about being wrong because of what other people think. And it's not like I like to be right because I like to be right. I just don't like to do anything that's going to muck up the day or the waters for anybody else. And let's face it, every day of my life is spent reading for people and helping people. I don't, I don't, making a misstep. Woo, 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 woo. So you, you're just going to have to make the decision because this is what's crazy. Wait till you see what the good news of this is. You're going to flip out. You will literally flip out. It, let me tell you who can help you get out of the bondage that you're in, even if you don't know you're in bondage. <laughs> um, a shark. A shark can smell one, like, I don't know, teeny, eensy, peensy, weensy bit of blood in like four gajillion D gallons of water. You're going to be able to smell that. If you work with shark energy, you're going to be able to ferret out and see the places and spaces that you're just convinced you're right and you're not. You're living an illusion. Or someone else thinks they're right. And you might even be buying into it, but you're like... I, I want to buy into it. I buy in, but I don't, I don't because you're the shark that smells the blood. Okay. Or it might just be somebody that you're watching go through this and you're like, they're going to sail themselves right off a cliff. And you're like, how can I help this person? Okay. Misguided devotion the occultist, by the way, uh, I believe it's Eliphas, Eliphas, anyway, Mr. Levi, he wrote that misguided devotion is the most potent of all magical poisons. Do you, just through my experience of teaching tarot, just through my experience of reading tarot, do you know how many people <laughs> really take that to mean misguided devotion to a person it rarely occurs to them that it is misguided to misguided to vote misguided devotion y'all been up since 4 a.m misguided devotion to an ideal or an idea or a way of doing or a way of being or the belief that someone is right the belief that someone is right it is a poison 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 don't do it. Don't drink it. That's not good. Have a V8 instead. Have a protein drink. Have a kombucha. Have a margarita. Okay. What really that makes it is while the devil is looking pretty scary, the devil card looks pretty scary. It's just a character, a caricature of misunderstood spirituality. Now that's not a road I'm going to go down in this video. Maybe ever any video. Because think about what was just said, misguided spirituality. And my channel is not for those conversations about whose spirituality, whose faith, whose religion, whose belief paradigm is right or wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. But what if, what if you are misguided at the moment? What if someone you know is misguided? What if, what if, what if? It's just asking you to take a look at that. Now, that's big and scary and like, really? She came back from vacation to say that. I didn't come back from vacation. As I said, this is being pre-recorded. And that's pretty heavy duty, especially for a Monday. However, here is how. <laughs> Ready for this? <sighs> yeah, it's like that up in here tonight. The temperance card, which is, oh, what? An angel. So now you've got the devil and you've got an angel sitting right there on your little shoulders. 
the devil's no, oh, the devil's talking to you, the angel's talking to you, the devil's talking to you, the angel's talking to y'all. Only I swear to Swanee, I've only ever seen this come out for one other person where these cards came out together in a reading. And honest to goodness, it was a minister who was having a crisis of faith and didn't know what else to do and came to see a psychic tarot reader. And it happened to be me. Well, I don't know anything about helping a, a, a minister through a crisis of faith. Like that's a for real deal, right? I, I, I'm like, I'm no good at that. And I was like, sir, I, I just don't think that I'm the one. I, I, he goes, no, that much I know. God told me it had to be you. And I'm like, I, okay, okay. I, I mean, I'll help you any way I can. Whammo, bammo. <laughs> the first two cards that came out for that old boy were <laughs> the devil and the temperance card. I did not want to laugh, but I was a younger psychic, maybe about 10 years ago. <laughs> Yesterday I was younger, much younger. But I, I just, I wasn't laughing at him, but dang, that's funny. Okay. Anyway, that guy was in a much worse shape when he left my office than he was when he got there because I was able to tell him things like all evidential psychic mediums can do that I shouldn't ever, anyway, it, it's this whole long story. Anyway, we've went, we've actually ended up very good friends over the years. So kooky enough, but here's the thing. So you're going, you're, you're going through your own journey to true self. And here's, here's the thing. It's a three card reading for the week for y'all. Two of the three cards are in the major arcana. Okay. This is all about you and your journey. Again, the devil card may be about someone that you're watching go through the devil. Okay. It may be somebody you're trying to help. It may be you, but here's at the end of the day was coming around Wednesday or Thursday. Ha! Now manta rays are called the angels of the sea. So they're angels. And in the traditional Rider Waite tarot card, the temperance card really is an angel. And the temperance card is all about channeling divine energy and having perfect harmony. Goodness, y'all. It's about a thousand degrees up in here. It's really not. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I just, okay, I just, I, I just have to be honest. I read for somebody earlier who had the most insane, powerful, and a lot of energy that said she should be being a medium. And you, for those of you that know me, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't sweat, sweat, got it going like a turbo vet. I don't do that. It's just not, it's not a physical thing for me, but, but when I get into mediumship and whatever, man, I start to light up from the, anyway, I started pouring buckets and all of a sudden it's starting now. And so you know who you are. If you're watching this video, if you are watching this video and I'm picking up on you still on, <laughs> uh, we need to talk. So anyway, um, so pardon all the fanning and the this and the that. I'm not having the vapors, but here's the thing. Um, when you start taking a look at the traditional tarot card meanings of the, of the temperance tarot card, now I make jokes about a lot of stuff because really everything in the world is funny to me. There's nothing so miserable that it can't be funny. And I say that as a person who got into this business because my mom, well, not into the business. I, I don't know why I ever say that. I got into the service of people. I got into being a psychic medium, tarot reader, blah, 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 because my mom was killed. That's not funny, but honest to goodness, it's a good thing my sister and I have an, just this in ridiculous sense of humor or we both would have laid down right in the street and died. All, every bit of life would have gone right out of us and that would have been it. So I don't joke when it comes to angels. I'm sure I've made a, a fun remark or two, but angels are real. I can't prove that to you, but I believe they are. I got angel story after angel story after angel story. And honest to goodness, if other people hadn't been there, I really would have thought I was having a psychotic break. True, honest to goodness angels who made electronics do crazy things who appeared because let me just say this those are the first visions i ever had were of angels and i i i was like Ugh, really 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 bernadette you're like you're a practicing psychic medium now you're a professional psychic medium and all of a sudden you're having visions of angels come on but they were the precursor to all of the rest of the visions that i've had throughout the years and you guys know oh my gosh this morning on the live i was like sitting there 
Okay. Y'all hear that? <laughs> you can't make this up. You cannot make this up, y'all. I know you heard that snorting. That's my chihuahua, Hops, sawing logs because she's a twofer. She's part chihuahua and part pot bellied pig. And God dang, that dog can snore. She snored up a storm. Right when I started to tell the story of, this is relevant because we're talking about synchronicities. On this morning's live, we were talking about synchronicities and this, that, and the other. And I was like, hey, listen, a bunch of you guys have this thing going on with, no, actually, it's not how it happened. I was talking, talking, talking. What else is new? And I went, and I, I turned around to look because in my left ear, I heard the snore, not the snore, but the snorts of what I know sounds like cows, bulls, steers, and bison. Y'all, I'm a country girl. I spent time, I'd know a bull or a cow snort anywhere. And then I turned around to look. They're looking at me like this and their hot breath on the back of my neck. It's so gross because when, when, when cows and bulls breathe and bison and they breathe out, they, they, they don't breathe out, uh, um, mute, <laughs> mucus can sometimes come out and it was snotting on the back of my neck. Let me just call it what it was. And I turned around to the group and I said to all the wild pack, I said, all right, look, which of y'all has the thing going on about the cows, the bulls, the steers, the bison, the buffalo? <laughs> the chat lit up with, oh my God, oh my God, I just, I did, I blah. Okay, here's where I'm going with all this. I'm about to tell you all this story and there goes a snort. That's synchronicity. When angels show up, I, I implore you to believe that they're there. I implore you. I am asking you to suspend your disbelief and, and listen to what they're trying to tell you or the one angel is trying to tell you. Angels don't play y'all. They don't play. I'm not saying they don't have a sense of humor. I'm saying they don't play. Their work is very, very sacred. And, and they can come to you in fun, funny, lighthearted ways, for sure. But angels don't show up frivolously or for frivolous reasons. When I started having visions of angels and actually literally meeting angels, and I am 1,000, nothing would ever convince me that, that it didn't happen. I, I believe that there are angels on earth. I believe that there are angels that take human form. And I know this because I've met them. Not a lot, just two. But it was significant enough with significant enough proof. Again, you can't make it up. So why I'm going on and on and on about this is this. Oh my goodness, with the medium stuff. I don't, man, okay. Maybe this is a future thing for you guys. Maybe a whole bunch of you guys watching this live on this Monday have mediumship in your mind or something because great googly moogly. So all of that said, we've gone from devil to angel all in one week, all in just a few days. And when you take a look at the traditional tarot card meanings of the temperance tarot card, it's the most Zen card. And if you take a look at the angel, you know, the angel's got one foot in the water, one foot on the land. There's the golden crown, you know, in, in that beautiful burst of golden light. And these, these magical waters are flowing chalice to chalice. I mean, you want to talk about alchemy? And even, even this card inverted, if you read inverted, this, this card is just about making the impossible possible. That's really what the temperance tarot card is all about, making the impossible possible. And if you've ever, you know, the water plays a really big, uh, a, there's a quite a bit of significance to the water in this card, the water element in this tarot card, because if you're wondering, like you look at the card and you're like, huh, well, is that card... Is the water flowing from the right cup to the left cup or in the opposite directions? 
There's actually two streams because water flows both ways. It's flowing from one cup to the other and then the other cup to the other. You've got to look really closely, but if you look at the artwork, you'll see the striation down it and you'll see the two. And it, I, I didn't see that when I first started reading. I'm like, what, what? And sure enough, there it was. Okay. Whatever is going on in your week from Wednesday through Friday, let's say, It's going to be divine if you'll let it be. If you will expect it, if you will accept it, if you will recognize it, if you will. It is just. This card just speaks to me of miracles that come true, of the ultimate healing. If you are in a place where you are like on your knees and you need inspiration, something's going to happen. You might, you might, isn't there some sports team, the angels or something? You might turn around at the moment that you're thinking of it and see an, uh, an angels team sports shirt. You might in that moment, um, Sarah McLaughlin's song comes to me in the arms of an angel. That song might pop on the radio you might meet someone named Angel. Um, I mean, I could go on and on and on and on and on about angels, but I'm telling you now from Wednesday through Friday, whatever was going cattywampus at the first of the week or in your life generally, the angel energy is coming to save you. Now you got to save yourself because it won't matter if angels show up if you don't believe. If you don't accept them, if you don't work with them, it won't matter. They'll be like, someone's knocking at the door, somebody's ringing the bell, and you'll be like, did anybody hear that? Yeah, angel delivery, you know, 30 minutes or less. Okay, that's all I have to say about that, me and Forrest Gump. Now, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Bump, 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 bump. Okay. Ready? <laughs> not just any animal a dog unconditional love unconditional loyalty and oh by the way a two-tone dog because synchronicity double events the number two the devil the angel there's black and there's white are you feeling me on this is anybody else seeing the symbolism but bernadette I looked at this card and this dog and I had a conversation. Now this dog reminds me of the dog from Little House on the Prairie, Jack. Y'all aren't old enough for Little House on the Prairie. I can't talk about Jack. I stopped watching Little House on the Prairie after that, but I didn't really. Well, I did for like two seasons and I went back, but um, we've got a devil. We've got an angel. And then we've got a black and white animal, the light and the dark, the light and the dark, the light and the dark. And if you put dog right in the middle of these two, why do I try to do this in the camera? No, I'm not really good at it. You put that light and the dark right in the middle of them. That's some kind of conglomeration of critters, isn't it? Now, what's interesting is both of these animals are water animals. This is an earth animal. What's water about? What's the water element about? Your emotions. I second that emotion. So we've gone from trauma, trauma, the drama llama to oh, the heavens opened up and the angels sang to man's best friend. Unconditional love. Have I said unconditional love yet? Did we talk about a dog being all of the symbolism and meaning of dog as a spirit totem and power animal being unconditional love and loyalty and, and protection of hearth and home? Did we talk about that? I'm not sure I mentioned. <laughs> Y'all, you see where I'm going with this, right? Okay. False illusions. Your angel is gonna get you tonight. Bump, 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 bump. Your angels and Gloria Estefan. And all of the sudden you are surrounded by and emitting and feeling and channeling and receiving 
It's not even like you're channeling love or receiving love or that you actually are love. I don't know. And, and so to be clear, this card is a Saturday, Sunday card. This is a three card reading for the week. I don't know y'all. I can't wait. Uh, please post all the, please post your stories about this on the forums, wildpackwisdom.com forward slash forums, because I, I, I don't, while I'm out in Kansas meeting Dorothy Gale and Toto and the Wizard of Oz and, you know, <laughs> fly, my pretties, fly. Um, you know, and Glenn and I will be doing limoncello shots and, uh, you know, oh, don't think Glenda the Good Witch doesn't do limoncello shots. You know, she does. It's the, it's the Wicked Witch that eats all the organic stuff and only drinks green smoothies because why else would she be so angry? <laughs> ah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Look, I'm serious. I love you guys more than I can say truly. And I, 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 I just am always so grateful you show up to hear one word the animal allies and I have to say, but it's been a long time y'all since I had a reading for someone like this. And this isn't for one person. This is for a bunch y'all. I hope that you will hear it in the spirit in which it is intended. I hope you will suspend your disbelief and open to receive the angelic divine energy. And I hope you emerge Friday night, Saturday morning. You might even fast track it. It may be all about Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and the rest of the week for you. I don't know, but it's about this week. And I hope you emerge not in a place of love, but as love. So I hope that was helpful. Pick up a copy of the Arc Animal Terror and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the little ringy dingy bell thingy. Get all the notifications. Join my forums at wildpackwisdom.com forward slash forums. Please share this video all out and yonder beyond, um, you know, let a tornado pick it up and just tote it all over the internet on everybody's social media because I, this is big goings on y'all. And so I will miss you all terribly, but I am going to the land of Oz. And while I'm out there, what do you know? The most important thing is it's going to be for me to do good for animals. So that means you got to do good for animals, including yourself and stay wild. <laughs>